While I was writing my talk for this conference, I was thinking about what's the right answer? What's the right answer for this question for you, for the people who are watching the recording, for me? Win or compete? Everybody knows Jacques de Coubertin, like the father founder of the modern Olympic Games. And everybody knows the most famous phrase of Monsieur de Coubertin. The most important thing is not winning, but taking part. I'm sorry for everybody, but I have to, take, to give you a burning truth. De Coubertin was a loser. The most important thing is winning, not taking part. For each individual, for any sport, any athlete, professional or amateur, when they start to sign up for a competition or for a race, they want to win. They want to win the gold medal. They want to win with, him, with their self, probably overcoming their limit. They want to win uh, against each other, because probably someone tell, tell them, you cannot do that. They want to win, not to take in part. And now I want to tell you a little story about my boat experience. I'm a free diver, a crazy man who a crazy man who dives 100 meters deep in the sea, just holding the breath, without any external apparatus, without any mechanical help, just with your lung, with your muscle, with your fins. It's, uh, I think it's the maximum expression of a crazy desire to win. Because it's crazy because you go deep in the sea, in the bottom, in the bottom of the sea. It's crazy because to survive, you have to go back to the surface. To breathe. It's crazy because in any sport, when you have a problem, you can break a bone or rip a muscle. In free dive, if you have a, a problem, you die. There is no choice. Okay? You know, in, past, in the past, I was also a swimmer and a rugby player. That's me some years ago. And, uh, you know, uh, when I was Preparing myself for the competition, for the, say, for the race, you know, wearing my, my swimming suit or my rugby shirt, is growing up inside me this great desire to win. I want to win the competition, always. In 2002, I kicked the free diving world record, going diving deep in the sea at 88 meters exactly, holding my breath. And it's really incredible because all, everything in your body tells you, stop, Alessandro, don't go there. You cannot go there where the sun rays disappear in the deep blue. It, try to imagine a building of uh, 30 floors. Hold your breath and start to run from the top of this building, going down and up through the stairs, holding the breath. Add to this muscle fatigue, Add to this pain in the ear, add to this a pressure, the water pressure, about 10 kilos per square meters. It's really incredible. It's just like, uh, why do that? Why? Why? Because there is something uh, very attractive for me, down deep in the sea. It's just like the most powerful magnet that, that attracts me. And, uh, you know, it's just like uh, diving inside yourself, where you can meet all your fears, all your limits. And I remember uh, an old free diver who told me once a time, who told me, Alessandro, you cannot do that, you cannot break the world record, because it's a human limit, you cannot go over the human limit with your body. If you, you can overcome the limit, break the limit, only if you want it in your heart, deep in your soul, only if you desire inside your soul. That's the motivation to go over. And when I was coming back to the surface, holding in my hand the tag, the card, that showed that I was there deep in the sea at 88 meters, that was a unique feeling, okay? The world champion of free diving. It was really incredible. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> The next year, I tried again to kick the new world record. I, was, I thought, nothing simple, more simple, because I just did it one time, so there's no problem for me. Well, 
in that moment was the most difficult thing I never had, never did in my life. I was asking to me, do you want it really? Why do you want to go again there in the bottom of the sea? I have no answer for that question. It was really incredible, really difficult for me. And in that moment I decided to didn't go at the death determinated to kick the new world record. And in that moment arrived all the possible escape to win the competition. Somebody told me, try Alessandro, there is no problem. It's a record that temper. The most important thing is to save money, sponsor, and even. Or try Alessandro, there is no problem. If you have any problem, there is the security diving team. <laughs> try Alessandro. The most important thing, if you cannot do that, probably someone can take you higher up the card. There is no charge down in the sea, at the bottom of the sea, at 88 meters. Well, one person was me. If I was cheating, I cannot look at me at the mirror for all my life. I have I dedicated the, uh, one year to training for that record, for that competition. I had a lot of working projects with sponsors after that, that record, but it was very important for me, not cheating. In that moment, arrived a lot of messages from all over the world, from a lot of friends, athletes, other people, unknown people, who told me, be brave, Alessandro, with that gesture, you give more, va more value to your sport performance and to your past record. You know, in that moment, I just remember uh, an article of a well-known newspa Italian newspaper. Grazie. Corriere della Sera. And the title of this article is Alessandro, the rugby player who had touched down deep in the, in the bottom of the sea. Everybody knows the fair play in rugby, no? Fighting like enemies in the playground during the competition. After the competition, drinking a beer like the best friends. In that moment, I understand that I'm an example for many people. You know, yes, I know that I'm, I'm not a moralist. I don't give any answer to anybody. I'm just an athlete and look at the other athlete of the other dis sport discipline. And everybody knows the implication of escape, of doping in sport. The word doping, some years ago, means all the chemical help for win. Now the new meaning of doping is all, everything you need for escape and to win the competition, not in the legal way, obviously. Just like surgical implants for, uh, that change the autopomatic characteristic of the athlete. The new meaning of doping is just like a blood replacement. It's just like uh, a judge paid. A competition role changed the dock. And, you know, it's possible to find doping probably in professional competition, possible. Because, you know, they're involved uh, uh, a lot of money, sponsor, fame. But it's possible to find doping in amateur competition. That's incredible. It's without any difference on the age of the athlete the economical class, the education, there is no difference. And then I have another question. What's the cost of doping to win? Can you answer to this question? I don't care about it, what's the cost of doping to win. I think about the social cost of doping, the impact of doping on the sports, on its, not on, its, on the single race, on the sports system. What's the impact of doping on the future of the athlete? What's the social cost for the, an athlete that finished to be an athlete? And he, he doesn't have any doping with his, for his life. The young athletes are our investment, our future investment. The young athletes are an investment for our life. It's a future investment made of of money, made of sacrifices. Thinking about the sacrifices, I can imagine a mother who goes through the city, to the traffic of a city, just to bring his child to the swimming pool, just for training. 
An investment made of uh, money, yes, you know, I think about a family who dedicated a part of their income, economical income, for the training of his child. And it's an investment made of a lot of huge satisfaction. When you see a spark in the eyes of this young Gatre, that's the sacred fire of sport, the spark of the sacred fire of sport. Sport can be the evolution of a revolution. The young Gatre will be the evolution of a revolution. Everybody, we can be the evolution of a revolution. That's the most important thing. And now I would like to show you another phrase of the Coubertin. Not well known phrase, another one. Sorry, the Coubertin. For each individual, sport is a possible source of inner improvement. Absolutely true. Right. And now I have just a question for you, for everybody, for the people who are watching. Remember? Win or compete? I'm sorry, I don't give you any answer for this question. You will find it, this answer inside you. You have to find this answer. And remember, it is not a very simple answer. You will know exactly who you are. And now, hold your breath and get ready to breathe the air all over the, all over the world. These are a few minutes before the dive to 88 meters. And in that moment, I was really nervous. In my mind, go a lot, I have a lot of questions. The first question, win or compete? The other question, there is any, any other escape to win the competition, not in the legal way. Why I have to do that? I was very, very nervous. It's just like uh, when you start to climb uh, the Everest. And when I start to dive, everything disappears. I have just only one thing that I want to do, to go deep, deep, to the blue, to find what is this powerful magnet that attracts me. I want to go to the blue. I, my body was just like a vacuum, ready to explode. My muscle was just like a gun, ready to shoot. That was a very, very strange moment. It's really a, a, a dive inside yourself, because when you go down, you have only blue, the heartbreak goes very, very slowly, and you have a pressure, incredible water pressure on your body. But you want to go deep, deep. You don't want to see the seabed, you want to see only the blue, where the sun rays disappear in the, blue, in the deep blue. And when you go down and reach 88 meters, yes, you are heavy because you, you hold in your, head, in your hand the tag, the cards, that show that you were arrived there. The, the most difficult thing is to go in, going up, to go back to the surface, because that is the only way to survive. It's the only way to breathe. In the swimming pool, normally you can st or just only stand up and breathe because you have the flow of the swimming pool, there's no problem. But when you are at 90, me 90 meters, just a 30 floor building, you have to come in back to the surface. And that moment, I have the answer for my question. The same question that I gave you. Win or compete? Thank you to everybody, and take care. Thank you, Mom. Thank you, Dad. <laughs>